When you look at the faces of the great people of our state, you see smiles, grateful for all that God has given us. Eyes that have seen the best in people, even while staring down the toughest of challenges. You see fresh faces, excited for the future. And you see worry lines, deepened by concern for what's next. I'm Jeff Landry. People say that Louisiana is blessed with an abundance of natural resources, but I believe our greatest natural resource is its people. Our ancestors first came to this land 300 years ago. The small town I grew up in has a church at its core. It's where my parents taught me about faith, standing up for what you believe in and caring for others. My mother was a school teacher my dad, a small town architect. We lived through the oil bust of the 80s, which turned middle-class families like ours into families struggling to get by. Times were tough, but we had faith and we had each other. I went to work right after high school in the sugarcane fields and proudly joined the National Guard, serving in Operation Desert Storm. I worked my way through college as a police officer and sheriff's deputy. Working in law enforcement, I saw the best and the worst a community has to offer. I went on to start a successful business with a friend and saw firsthand the impact of government regulations on small businesses. That's when I decided to go to law school, to stand up for business owners and help them succeed in the face of big government. Digging ditches in a sugarcane field, serving our country, working nights as an officer, starting a business, raising a family. I have walked in the very shoes of the people who struggle way more than they should in a state as blessed as this one. My next step was a big one that no one thought I could do. I was just a regular guy involved in my community, an outsider, a new face, a Cajun that would shock the Louisiana political establishment when I ran for and won a seat in Congress. As a congressman, I stood up for what we believe in. I was named one of the top five most conservative members of Congress, but I'm just as proud to have cast more bipartisan votes than any other member from Louisiana at that time. Why? Because I do what's right, not what's politically popular. Even if that means challenging my own party when they stray off target. And as your attorney general, that has not changed. My responsibility is to protect this state, her culture, her values, her people, and her children. What we have in Louisiana right now is a complete crisis of leadership and a lack of priorities. As the son of a school teacher, I think it's a sin that 74% of our fourth graders can't read the way they should, and nearly 80% of our eighth graders can't do basic math. We have some liberal school boards and radical school leaders forcing political philosophy into the classroom. Meanwhile, they're failing to teach our kids the very basics, and they're cutting parents out of the process at the same time. I believe the most important voice in a child's education is the parent. We deserve a government as good as our people, and we're not getting it. You know, Louisiana was once defined by our great cities. They were the gems of the South, the cornerstones of our state. Sadly today, crime has taken hold. Incompetent mayors and woke district attorneys are playing a dangerous game of catch and release. In New Orleans, people are scared to pump gas or walk to their cars. Our capital city has one of the highest murder rates in the nation, and other cities around our state aren't far behind. To the people of those cities, we care about you. You're good people living with a bad government. You deserve safe neighborhoods. And when you hurt, our entire state hurts. If those chosen to run these cities won't act, won't protect their citizens and follow our laws, then real leaders need to step in. Our outward migration problem is not just a statistic. 
Every person that leaves this state is a family broken, a grandparent less likely to know their grandchild. And it's more of our culture lost. I'm tired of people leaving our state and I'm angry that our children's education is not a priority. I'm sick of our big cities being run like third world nations. We can fix our broken tax system and we can modernize our outdated constitution. We can have a state government that fixes problems and delivers solutions. It's not gonna be easy, but we can put our state on a new course because the path we're on is even harder. By now, you're probably wondering, Jeff, are you running for governor? Well, here's my answer. I am not running for governor. I am not running for governor. We are running for governor. We need to work together as a team. This election is not about me, it's about you. I can't do this alone. We must join together to build the Louisiana we want, the one we need, and the one we deserve. The time for excuses is over. Ask any champion and they'll tell you, you have to be willing to do the things that are hard to achieve that which you love. And I love this state.